I am so honored to be here with two of my favorite women in the world. And one of my first questions is, what inspired you to take the conversation to the digital space? Well, the conversation always existed. Um, first of all, that it existed online. And we felt that most women spend a lot of time online, and it actually came from my own need in my life. I mean, what woman isn't asking questions about all of, this, all of these subject matters? And rather than sort of spending hours trying to find out who had good answers, who had stories to share, we thought it was a good place to kind of curate amazing women and to share their stories and to actually hear what their solutions were and their answers were to you know, a variety of topics, basically sort of the universal language of women. I mean, I think one of the, the differences is um, we're fortunate enough that um, Lifetime has decided to uh, make this a, a series for their network, um, but it, the, the website is not a support for the TV show. It's, in fact, uh, the reverse. We always were focused on um, the online destination because that's really where um, the conversation can expand and take place and where the opportunity to connect on a, even a global level um, to, to share. Because I think that that's ultimately, when you get down to it, it, it was a simple idea of two women sitting down, sharing with one another, trying to find answers, lending support. And we just want to open that up into something that reaches every woman. Because I think the topics we want to delve into are relevant to every woman. We basically took what was happening in our own living rooms and kitchens <laughs> and what was happening in our friends' living rooms and kitchens and wanted to kind of put that out in the world because Absolutely. there is so much information that isn't particularly authentic or truthful. And it's really hard to find answers to these things, you know? Right. That you a, I always say as a parent, like literally Twitter and Facebook became my mommy group. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So to, to invite people to participate in the conversation and to, we, like, we want to hear what women all over the world are thinking about this, this subject, you know, about these variety of subjects. It's because it's not about being experts. It's, the truth is, selfishly, we'd like to have the answers. I'd like to reach out to somebody yeah. who knows about finances, who can encourage me to be less intimidated in areas where I don't have confidence. And I think that by hearing these stories, you know, it really does offer insight into a variety of different opinions. And on the website, we've got so many different women. You know, some of them are like women that you know, um, and some of them are experts on that field. And some of them are just unknown women who have just sent their stories in and say, hey, I have a great story on sexuality and I want to share it. So it's amazing because we're having such a diverse voice. And we're not, we're not saying that yeah. one is right and one is wrong. We're just saying, listen to all these women, and maybe you'll find something that you connect with. And just watching it, the authenticity comes through from such a compelling place. I, I was in tears watching it, truly, because, because they're really sharing their stories. And, and that's so incredible. And in social media, how do we share our stories and, and create that conversation. <laughs> I mean, I also think with the amount of access people have with social media and online, that people know when someone is telling the truth and they're not. Some people may disagree with that, but like you, you read so much stuff and you can tell like that person's just promoting something or whatever the deal is. And I think the unique thing about, about our project is that it's not really about someone coming on or someone sharing a story because they're pushing something. It's like they're there because they actually want to share an experience yeah, in and fact, something it's that's truthful the, for them. It's the exact opposite. And although for a lot of you in the room who are saying <laughs> you're, you're here to discuss marketing, this is um, for us not about getting somebody who's got a book, a movie, um, an album. It's really getting somebody to share almost in the way that it used to be. If you look at the old Dick Cavett show, people came on just to talk about things that they... Um, had knowledge and interest in. They would, um, and, and just to kind of, um, really to, to inspire uh, one another. And I think that that's what, um, what we have an opportunity to do here in a, a different form because of the, of, the, of, the, of the web, which is reach those who, who might provide us with, the, with that very answer we're looking for um, but would never have had an opportunity to connect with in our physical um, exactly. existence. And I mean, I'm interested as well to know, like, a lot of the women that we've been meeting and interviewing, like, I want to know, like, what are the books that they've read that have helped them? You know, what websites do they go to? What TV shows do they watch? I want to know all of that stuff that has helped 
shape that person? You know, who are the people that have influenced you? And it's kind of great to be able to like collect all of this amazing information and share it with anybody that's interested in it. And I have to say that I've actually met a few men who have said like, I want to know what women have to say about this subject, which is, which is fun too. I love that. Who would you say is your target woman that you're focused on reaching? Um, I would say that really we're, we're, we're kind of speaking to every woman. You know, we, we're addressing the universal language of women and whether you are 16 or 70, you're gonna have feelings about your body and you can, part you know, you can participate in a conversation on body image or health or finances or sex, you know? So it's really, it's really diverse in age, you know, I would say. Absolutely. Did you wanna add? No, no. <laughs> the nice thing for me about this is that I actually don't have to be the one who speaks. <laughs> I love it. Well, I, I think it's so incredible to see where we're at and, and where content is, is meeting brands. And where do you guys each feel as being such incredible female influencers online? We are, where are we in the present and where are we headed? I think Demi can probably so, so, so Where brand sure. meets content. Um, well, I, I, I think actually when Ashton was speaking earlier, I, I, I think that it sits in, in a couple of different places. and. Um, I, I think we all get annoyed when we're forced to um, uh, sit through advertising when we just want to get to the information or the content. And I think having the uh, uh, ability to you know, speed through it and or if you choose to um, engage, I think that often there's great advertising that if it's, in, if it's relevant, to the content that, that you're showing, then actually it's very exciting. And if, it, and if it unto itself has great storytelling, then it's also interesting. The, the biggest thing for me, um, and I feel it's really important, uh, particularly with this project that we're doing, is that, that the brands be looking at what they have to give. What are they offering as opposed to what they're wanting? And I think it shifts the focus and the, and, and the energy and I think ultimately creates a far better relationship with your consumer um, because you become a partner with your consumer. And I think that, yeah. that that's ideally um, where I'd like to you know, land, particularly with this. It, I mean, it, what you're saying makes sense because we created this, you know, it's a multimedia platform and we, we created it because we felt there was a need for it. It wasn't that we sort of went around and were like, oh, what would be something that would be really fun to do? I mean, it is fun to do, but <laughs> we see that there's really a need for it. And so with who we are talking, you know, any kind of partnership at all, even the people who are coming to be interviewed, anybody that's involved in this project, it's really looking at how can what you bring, how is that gonna benefit the lives of women? You know, how is this gonna benefit the lives of people watching this and participating in it? So as long as that criteria makes sense, then it would make sense. And, and I think ideally for us, it's, it's also, uh, you know, because what, what we have is a, is a topic driven, um, not celebrity driven, um, and yet the celebrities are, are, are there because I think they create a familiarity and their openness um, uh, uh, in exposing different aspects of themselves by not selling a movie um, allows also for a different type of integration and the topics of whether it's body image or finance, there's very different groups that we could be engaging with that I think that would find an, uh, an organic and authentic place in relationship with us. Amazing, Demi, Amanda, I love you both. Thank Conversation, you. incredible. Do you have anything more you want to add? No, thank you. I heard you guys were a tough audience. I appreciate you <laughs> listening. You guys were an amazing audience. And we just want to. Oh, no, I, actually, if anybody has any questions, because part of I, I think just sitting up here and talking that didn't feel right for our show is really, um, you know, <laughs> engaging out there. So if anybody has any questions, if they want to toss out, please do. I if you want to find us after. And also just wanted to thank Soleil so much for coming and, and well, thank doing you. this for us. Demi is uh, the reason I found Twitter, and uh, <laughs> Amanda is one of my favorite people to follow, so I am thrilled to be here. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thanks. Thank, thank you, you everybody.